Plastic pollution is one of the greatest environmental problems of our time. Not a single country or ocean is free of it. The UN Environment Programme says between 1950 and 2017, 7 billion out of an estimated 9 billion tonnes of plastic produced became waste, and most of that was dumped into the environment and landfills. And the total amount of plastic waste in the world is predicted to reach 34 billion tonnes by 2050. Now, thanks to an initiative led by Rwanda and Peru, 175 countries have agreed to a legally binding global treaty to end plastic pollution by the end of 2024. The idea is to tackle the material's entire supply chain, Peru's vice minister of the environment told CGTN. The best way to tackle this emerging global problem is multilaterally, in such a way that we can deal with the entire life cycle of plastic, production, consumption, design, recycling, which effectively allows us not just to reduce its use, but to eliminate plastic waste. Castro visited a recycling plant in Lima after returning from the historic signing at the UN Environment Assembly in Nairobi. It's a change so that there are tax-related and economic incentives for companies to ensure that products that do not have a negative effect are rewarded. Castro said financing models to help curb plastic use and waste are crucial for developing nations. Peru is one of those countries which has already taken steps to reduce single-use plastics. A law passed in 2018 led Peru to cut out one-third of plastic bag consumption the following year, equivalent to 11.5 million plastic bags. But it still has a big plastic problem and not enough recycling plants like this one. Here in Lima's residential Surco district, Peru's biggest and oldest recycling plant gets through 10 tonnes of waste a day. All the bottles, tin cans and cardboard gets a second use of life. And now plastics are being used for innovative building materials. This recycled plastic is moulded into a metal cast, cooled down and made into lightweight girders and bricks. These eco-plastics made this home, which could be the first of many, offering low-cost housing, says engineer Ninoska Cordero. With this pilot project, we are making homes and ecological benches to put in the park so that the residents in Surco can see tangibly what we are doing with their recycling waste that they responsibly put aside for us. Plastic waste is also turned into bin liner bags for recycling. And more than 18,000 plastic bottles here are being given a second use growing vegetables. Vertical horticulture saves space and water and ensures poorer neighbourhoods get their vegetables too. The circular economy is being put into practice in one city district which hopes to lead by example. Dan Collins, CGTN, Lima.